Enclave as a premier destination on fire. And just before Ms. McCarty reads the famous comment, I want to state for the record that I'm having a reader redacted. I'd like the shorter sure. portion of it, and there are many references to the federal statutes that I don't think at this point um, I need to spend reading into the record. I agree with that. Continue to the heart of the But we have, just for the record, we have received and read the document. We do not concur with the document. Okay. And as indicated, we are seeking to modify the document the application presented to bring it in greater conformity with the code standards at 54.7. This is Mr. This is dated February 19th from the National Park Service, Fire on the National Seashore. Under the federal zoning standards, maximum lot occupancy for all development, residential or commercial, may not exceed 35%, and therefore the National Park Service objects to the overdevelopment of this property. In addition, no use or structure within the seashore built in violation of a local ordinance when constructed may be reconstructed except in compliance with the approved local zoning ordinance. The lot coverage in the town of Brookhaven is 50% for all commercial buildings and structures on the property. The National Park Service encourages the reconstruction of this property to be environmentally sustainable with a lighter footprint on the land in order to conform to the federal zoning standards and the local zoning codes of the town of Brookhaven. If the town of Brookhaven determines that the property is a non-conforming use constructed in accord with the town of Brookhaven code and the federal regulations in effect at the time it was permitted for construction, then it may be reconstructed to its previous dimensions. If it is determined by the town of Brookhaven that the property in question was not legally constructed nor had required permits at the time of construction that complied with town code, federal regulations would not allow reconstruction to its previous dimensions and would require that it be reconstructed to conform to current town code. The town of Brookhaven's current code is more restrictive than the federal regulations. Brookhaven town code limits the reconstruction of non-conforming structures destroyed by fire or storm. Under current Brookhaven code, if the loss is greater than 75% of the property's value, the property is to be reconstructed in accord with current zoning, which limits property to 50% lot occupancy. Although not part of the federal zoning standards, the National Seashore is concerned about public health and safety within the boundary of Fire Island National Seashore, including structural and wild, wildland fire resulting from development that lacks inadequate or proper fire protection, and contamination of groundwater and the waters of the Great South Bay that can be affected by inadequate septic systems and sewage treatment systems. As the Brookhaven Board of Zoning Appeals deliberates this application, we hope the board will also take into consideration the very real concerns regarding public health and safety and ensure that if this application is approved, the resulting development addresses the issues of fire, water, sewage, and other public health and safety issues. The National Park Service objects to the development as proposed because it enlarges the non-conforming structure which previously existed and dramatically exceeds lot occupancy requirements of the National Seashore and the town of Brookhaven. It is unclear whether the structure was a legally built non-conforming structure. If it was a legal non-conforming structure, it may be rebuilt to previous dimensions. However, as currently proposed, the building would be enlarged and other changes are proposed. These include a very minor reduction in lot occupancy, approximately 50 square feet, which is not enough to compensate for 91 plus percent in lot occupancy. As the board considers this application, the board should also look at the totality of this development, including the adjacent lots, Suffolk County tax map numbers 47, 34, 35, and 41. It is the understanding of the National Seashore that the septic leach field for the development on lot 46.1 is located on lots 34, 35, and 45. The vacant lot to the south, lot 47, was included in the applicant's lot occupancy calculations. The town building department rejected this calculation. The National Seashore recommends that the vacant lot to the south and lots containing the septic leach field be restricted from future development and any development rights that may exist for these properties that might be held under separate titles should have their development rights removed so as to compensate for the overdevelopment of lot 46.1. Thank you for your consideration of the National Park Service Fire Island National Seashore's comments. 
All right, did Mr. Uh, so those are not a surprise to you, those comments. Uh, did you want to uh, respond to them? Again, I uh, point out, we reduced the law occupancy. He accurately states in the beginning of 35%, he references residential and commercial, and then he clarifies it further on in the letter, which indicates that it's 50%. We have now brought the lot occupancy, as we've attempted to do on other applications before this board, closer to conformity. We have brought it down to 54.7. I would also like to point out again that this particular structure and, and uh, use is in the middle of the downtown commercial district. It's a highly trafficked area by people who access walking and with bicycles or with ways. There are no uh, vehicles that drive 